Hello people, in this video we are looking at this book Insider's Guide to Clinical Medicine by Archit Balur and Anudeep Padakanti. So in this uh, book they have tried to show clinical examination of different systems with images. So just pick this book up. to show you <clears throat> so general examination examination of respiratory system examination of cardiovascular system gastrointestinal system then central nervous system higher mental functions gait how to check right so instruments also they have told right what else is there in this spotters discussion of drugs so basically <clears throat> history taking how to do here what are they doing guys yes they are checking the dorsalis pedis artery very important to check in case of <clears throat> any fracture here you know especially though it comes in orthopedics i'm telling you that you should always check the distal pulse and the distal movement to know if there is any nerve injury or vessel injury in this case you can also know um, if they're having any symptoms right of the leg etc or in any general physical examination you will write the peripheral pulses right so you have to check that <coughs> here they're checking the radial pulse here they are assessing the type of respiration so here and there we are looking at some images from this book people so how to check the jugular venous pulse isn't it i kind of liked the images in this book so <clears throat> i felt like it's a handy book and at the end of it what have they given So what are they checking here? Apical impulse, isn't it? Palpating the apex. So this becomes which system? Cardiovascular system, correct? So what are they trying to depict here? S1, S2. So they are showing you the variation in second heart sound. So wide split, narrow split, wide split, narrow split. <coughs> All this would have been nice if they had given the normal in the first place, isn't it? Okay. Should always compare with normal. Now coming to the abdomen looks like. Which, which system are they checking here? Gastrointestinal system. So the images are very nice according to me. To carry to your clinics. So sometimes images register in your mind, isn't it? I'm thinking that in this the images are better than Hutchison or your uh, Alagappan, right? Lot of images also. But this is all about examination. It is not case, case, you know, specific case if you talk about that. Again, you'll have to buy the Kundu book. This is more about examination only, right? What do you think they are doing here? So, that was about rheumatology by the way. See, I wanted to show you this table, okay, for, um, see this, a respiratory system summary of findings in common respiratory diseases. So, let us look at this. Fibrosis means what will be your findings. Collapse, lung collapse means what will be your findings. Pleural effusion means what findings you will have. Pneumothorax means what findings, hydropneumothorax, consolidation means what, cavity means what findings will you have, emphysema means what findings, ILD means what findings you will have. I think this is a very nice chart, okay. 
so um, case wise though there is no discussion right in this but this looks like a very useful look like this is the which this is tubular phase is it alveolar phase expiration so this is about vesicular breath sounds okay and when there's a gap what is it bronchial or tracheal breath sounds some things like this no if you have a book and keep looking at the images it will register better in your mind so i would recommend you to look at this book and decide for yourself okay so that's all for now guys we'll meet you in the next video okay bye bye